got new babies coming, number three and four. Well, we've arrived at the foundation with the two little orphans whose uh, whole family was actually uh, shot completely, um, totally wiped out, and these were the two uh, little survivors. The little ones have uh, been uh, handed over to Ellie, so Ellie's going to do the initial um, check over just to make sure um, everything's okay, uh, that they don't have any other injuries, uh, that they look healthy, they're not dehydrated, and uh, just make sure there's no little other parasites or things that we don't know about on their, on their little bodies for the meantime. Depending which uh, little teeth have emerged, it can give us uh, a slight indication of the age and how long ago they were born. So it's also very important to check there. You can see that's definitely a little boy. Little girl. Calming down a little bit with some nice grooms. So we've got them in a section called Love Land, uh, so they'll just be quarantined uh, from the others at the moment, just so that we can check uh, that uh, they are healthy, they haven't got anything that they can spread over to the other little Boys monkeys, and now, once they're okay, we'll introduce them left. to the other guys. <laughs> You're no more crying, so he seems a little happier. They were both crying a lot. Okay. Probably they were fortunate that there was two of them to keep each other com company and uh, just give each other that support uh, through the trauma they've, they've been through. So they really seem to be a little bit of a change in their attitude. We'll see how they go, but I'm sure once they meet the other monkeys they're going to feel a lot better. Little girl. Shame. She hasn't uh, quite gone fully asleep there. It's like kind of sleeping with one eye open, um, just to make sure nothing, nothing further happens or anything like that. So, let's hope they are going to settle in, and uh, settle in fairly quickly, and just find that this is a safe haven, a place that they can relax, and uh, that they're going to be okay. cute. I hope you get a very cute name.
back over to Neverland and here we've got little uh, Josephine. You can see they're almost all the same size as those little ones that have just come in and uh, she's busy exploring. It's quite amazing once they build up the confidence and everything like this, how brave they get uh, clambering around and trying to find uh, out where everything is. But just look how little Josephine's doing, becoming a lot more mobile. You can see she's got a lot more control over her arms and legs. Of course, tasting everything is something else. They've got to see if you can bite anything. That can also be because of the teething. But uh, very interested in finding what's going on with her surroundings, getting her balance and uh, finding out where she is. But she's doing extremely well, as you can see. Well, we've got... Uh, Josephine coming over to meet uh, little Abu just to see how he's going um, he's sort of just woken up um, you can see the two are like kind of happy to see each other and are going to run off with uh, with each other just to do a little bit of exploring um, sometimes the itchiness can be depends on what people were bathing them or washing with them before and it takes a while to get rid of the perfumes and, and things like that from their little bodies but sometimes it's also just a de development, little reaction uh, that you'll see them like scratching. It's not really itchy uh, as such anyway. Um, you can also see, yeah, like the little hand movements. Sometimes the brain's telling them what to do and they just don't quite understand what, uh, how to get it right. But uh, see if you can tell the difference and, and note the differences of uh, who's Abu and uh, who's Josephine. It's not always easy. Um, it's a lot easier, of course, when you've got two of them together but uh, when you see them apart um, it's not so simple so that'll give you a little bit of a clue there um, if you can just try and remember who's who when they mix themselves up um, and uh, yeah you can try and see who they are a little bit later on
Well, it's always uh, nice to pop in and see how our favourite uh, Mr. Floki is actually doing, uh, because it really is a, a remarkable monkey and been through so much and progressed so well. Um, it's just so nice to see how he's coming on. Um, he's never going to have uh, full control uh, over those legs of his, but at least it's doing a lot better than what it was. He still loves his milk, uh, still gets his little milk moustache every now and again, and uh, him and Cuddy are, are getting on extremely well. Um, so they're always playing this game of catch. You can see how well he manages to run around and jump um, and do his part. He's not as agile as uh, what she is, but I mean, he's got the moves and uh, he's got those quick turns that he's got of his uh, that helps quite a bit. And uh, he manages to climb and jump over quite a few things at the moment. Uh, which is quite great. So he can get a, get around very, very nicely. Um, and um, every day it's, it's basically improvement. So we are building their new enclosure for them, uh, which hopefully they're going to enjoy. We've got to revamp uh, this Disneyland a little bit for the, for the new babies, because uh, they're coming in fast and furious at the moment. So we've just got to make sure everything's done and ready for them. But uh, as you can see, these two, uh, they're really having a good time and really enjoy each other's company, which is what we're hoping for. Uh, so we hope uh, they just have as good a time um, on the side of the, the enclosure to meet other monkeys. We'll see how they go in their new space, but it's also coming on very, very nicely at the moment. Well, uh, Floki's been given a, a bowl of beetroot juice. Um, he doesn't really look that impressed, although he does like the beetroot juice. But uh, he doesn't sort of look uh, very impressed with it at the moment and sort of look, I, I'd rather have my, have my milk if I had a choice. So uh, he's not too sure what to do uh, with this at the moment. and just seems to like getting out of the way and seeing if he's got some milk somewhere else. I think it's actually managed to trick everybody and that's uh, a grape he's eating, it's not actually a bit of beetroot. So uh, how he got those I don't know, but it's uh, one of his second favourite fruits uh, over bananas and uh, I know Cuddy will even fight him for them as well, so uh, he's lucky to have got some grapes, where he found them I'm not too sure, but it's definitely not uh, beetroot uh, juice that he's eating there, that's still in the bowl. Um, unless somebody tried to trick him and put a grape in, <laughs> which I think he just realized. said, oh my God, this is a grape in beetroot juice. But uh, yeah, he's really a character and, and really doing well. So we all love uh, Floki. Well, we've got the full team out there working as fast as they can to get this enclosure finished. Uh, as baby season has started and we really need to get a move on. How's the cage coming on, Innocent? Yeah. Coming okay. Looks good. Yeah. So you're just putting up the shade netting and then there'll be chicken wire along the bottom of the fence as well. Here's a lychee. Fenwell, Solly and Innocent doing the final touches to the cage so it's not long before it's ready. And since we have our first two new babies then it's coming just in time. So if like Floki and Cuddy can move and we'll have Disneyland area free. But it's going to be a nice big area for Floki and Cuddy, special monkeys. That's thanks to Ellie's fundraiser where she shaved all her hair off and to everybody who supported and donated.
over to the two new arrivals in Loveland. I'm um, just checking that they're getting their milk and everything. Each one's got their own specific bottle at the moment, just so that we can make sure they're drinking uh, the correct amount, so that can be recorded, and uh, of course to make sure they gain weight in a reasonable period of time. The Royal Canin bottles are quite amazing. They're numbered one to four, which uh, if you turn the little nozzle of the bottle on each one of those numbers, it adjusts the flow of uh, the milk that's able to come out of the teat. Uh, so this is quite remarkable and it certainly helps with the little youngsters that they don't choke or actually breathe in any of, uh, any of the milk when they're so small. So Ellie just going through uh, the feeding uh, procedure with the bottles, just showing how to get uh, the little ones to, to drink from these bottles. Now I'm going to wait a few seconds and start try again until she's done. So she'll probably have a fill. Okay, so now these guys have had a feed, we're going to get the other guys out. I just wanted to make sure they'd had their meds. They had um, the Josephine and the Boo. We've got a boo on the left, Josephine on the right. A boo is the tinier one. We think he was a little bit premature. Um, he also has, I think, a very uh, unique shaped head, let's say. Um, Josephine has a bigger head and uh, kind of these big old Disney eyes as well. Disney so eyes? I don't know how they're going to react to each other. Do you have Disney eyes? Okay, guys. Hello. you coming out? Look at you climbing like a big girl. Are you coming? Are you coming? Okay, guys. I'm gonna meet your new friends. Should I let them go free? Yeah, absolutely. Let them do what they want if they need a bit of comfort. Look. Is that new ones? They're watching them. His feet are so soft. They're hers. You're just so petite. What's your mama got? <laughs> so here we have little Josephine. Is this Shaney or... Hello guys. And then we've got the boo. When we're doing their meds, we just do point one by point one. Okay. Are you guys friends? Yeah, they don't seem like this is an unusual situation whatsoever. Right? Just get along. This is this is the same as always. Nothing new. Nothing new. Yep. I'm the newest thing here, apparently. Hi. Baby number three. The two girls, of course. I can't <laughs> tell. They know what's what. You can tell better. Okay, so this is Shaney. I've got a boo. And then this, is, this Josephine. is Josephine. And then you've got baby number three. Baby number three. Where are you going, Abu? Where are you going? Under my legs? Just a little bit. Oh. oh, that's the washing machine. Did he poop on you? Just peed. Okay. A little bit of toilet paper. Oh, sorry. <laughs> do you have like a little bucket? Yeah, we do. So this is our poop bucket. Hi, my darling. Come this way. Why are you going so far away? Oh, yeah. Good job. So. Good job. I'm gonna keep number three and four next to you. And then I'm just gonna write down that they have their medicines. So record keeping is vital at this stage. Um, not just the meds they're taking, but also how much they're drinking, 
how much they're defecating and urinating. Uh, all of this plays a very, very important role um, in making sure these little guys stay as healthy as possible. Josephine's a big girl and drinks on setting too. Here we have the babies. So we've got Chaney here. Abu is this one. And we have Nona here. It's currently lunch and they had a big nap. And now they are all around and want to play. And then Josephine is still here and napping. Shaney in the front and Vinona in the back. Well, here we've got a little bowl of snacks for the little ones. Basically, it consists of slightly harder fruits, um, such like uh, apples and pears. There's a little bit of uh, a banana for extra flavoring that the monkeys seem to really love. This is really all just to help with, uh, with the teething, because you must realize a lot of their little teeth are starting to come out at this age. So it's just nice to have something to, to rub against your little gums uh, when you get those teething problems. Well, even at uh, this young little age, you can see how much uh, monkeys love banana. It's uh, certainly the top on their list of uh, fruits to eat. And uh, basically, they'll really do anything uh, for a nice, nice ripe banana. So it starts off really from this age. It must just be an amazing taste for these little ones. Uh, just something to chew on and uh, getting that nice little flavor coming through. Um, so something different from the milk, but uh, yeah, no, it's just nice to see how much they enjoy it and uh, how much they actually eat to these bananas in comparison to the to the other fruits uh, like your apples and things that they've got there, as I mentioned before, for their for their teething. <laughs> it's a <big. laughs> Just it's quite difficult to get with the, you know, like to get my hand that side uh -huh. and at the same time. <laughs> of course, uh, feeding cage training starts uh, straight away because this is probably the most important uh, aspect of the whole uh, integration program is getting these guys used to this little cage as quickly as possible so that of course we can get them out there to a, to a monkey, a mother monkey who's probably eager already wanting to take them. Oh, I was like, what baby? <laughs> Here is Floki and Cuddy's four poster bed coming in. At the moment we've got Shallon in here. She's just gonna basically have a trial run to see that we can release her next week. So we're using it as a rehabilitation area. Um, but for now, Innocent is bringing in Floki and Cuddy's bed. Gosh, very two lucky monkeys. Look at that. Very cute. It's lucky. It fits. What do you think, Ellie? Yeah. Happy? They're so lucky. Oh, it's perfect. It's 
Just have to put something underneath the wooden posts to make sure that it doesn't get wet and yeah, looks great. Here's Shallon, we're actually in Floki and Cuddy's new area. Um, Shallon, as you may remember, was electrocuted, suspected on a high power line two months ago. Um, she had lots of the bandage changes. It was absolutely touch and go with her. Um, she's one of our little miracles. We didn't think she'd get to the point of release, but um, we're really hoping that she can be. So we just put up some branches here just to make sure in a bigger space we're happy that she can actually get around without falling. Um, if there's any noise going on that she's going to be okay when she returns back to her release in the wild. We do know where her troop are um, by the Zanin Country Lodge and uh, I'm sure they'll be able to keep an eye on her there as well because she's obviously an easy monkey to recognise now with no tail and one arm. Freedom! Okay, so we can see how she's moving. Shallon's still not happy with us. Flew up that tree. Well, that brings us to the end of this uh, very exciting uh, episode. A lot happening. Uh, Floki getting uh, a new home. It's going to be great uh, to see him moving in there with Cuddy and see what they think about it. Little Shallon, of course, our little miracle baby, um, has done so well that uh, she's definitely going to go back to her troop. Just, you know, if you're fighting so much to, to survive and wanting to be back with your own kind, we just feel it's something we owe her, and uh, she's still got time. Um, she's done remarkably well. The caregivers have done a fantastic job with this little one, basically bringing her back from the brink of death. And uh, so, yes, hopefully we're going to see her find her family again and get back out into the wild. As for all the other little ones, they are certainly coming in at a rate. And, uh, of course, there's a lot of training to get these little guys drinking on their milk bottles, teaching them the feeding cage. Uh, we don't have much time, a lot of preparation going on to get the introduction cages ready so that we can start finding moms for these little ones um, so that we don't have too much of a, of a backlog. So thank you, everybody, for enjoying this with us, watching it. Please do spread the word, get others to watch it and get involved. It does help uh, the project quite a bit. Okay and and uh, the more popular we are, um, the more support we can basically get outside there, which, which is really required uh, to help as many of these little ones as we can. I just hope this year is not going to be as bad as the last with so many coming in, but uh, we're going to see what we can do and try and help as many of them as we can. Of course, your help is needed to do this. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next week.